Hi friends, in earlier video, we have learned how to create financial version, financial statement version for balance sheet. Now let us see financial statement version, profit and loss account statement. This we have done it as per schedule 3 so that it will be more easy process for the accounts persons who are preparing financials on periodical basis. So let us go into SPRO, we will go to the same financial statement version, SAP reference IMG, then financial accounting, then general accounting, periodic processing and then document. Here define financial statement version. Okay, let us go to the position. Our financial statement version was FS2, ZFS2. Okay, we got it. Schedule 3. Now we will go here. You see, we have completed equity and liabilities and assets. Now let us go to see here. I had opened the same guidance note issued by Chartered Accountants of India where they have defined the format. This is part 2 form of statement of profit and loss. Okay. So, in the same format, we will just do it in the SAP also. Now, we have to take income and expenses. Fine. I will go to PL result. Then, create items. First, I will create income. Next, expenses, fine. Under this, under income, I will create three headings, revenue from operations, other income. Sorry, two headings only. This is the total revenue from operations and other income. Okay. So, create items, revenue from operations, and next is other income, fine is done. Now, in case of expenses, cost of material consumed, cost of materials consumed, purchases of stock in trade, Next, changes in inventories of finished goods. Work in progress and stock in trade. Employee benefits expenses. Depreciation and amortization expenses, and finance cost, other expenses, total expenses. Okay, we will have a finance cost also, it is not given here. Finance cost and other expenses. Okay, total we need not take, system will calculate the total. Okay, see if you see in earlier uh, balance sheet, uh, in the video I had just shown one, uh, assigning the accounts to one of the uh, uh, notes, but uh, later I have done it offline, so that we will not waste time in uh, that activity in the video. Okay, now I will assign uh, accounts for this, revenue from operations, select and assign no need to select actually we can uh, uh, click we can click on that node and assign notes okay now i will uh, what i will do before i go to this i will open my uh, fs00 list of my gls 
now this is uh, revenue related so i will open this revenue related this many revenue accounts are there so what i will do i will see the numbers from here and type it it will be more easy revenue from operations assign accounts okay if you see here three sale of flats lease income maintenance income lease income with tax uh, these are all direct income okay as per my business model these are all direct income so i am taking those gls here next i can give the range here 30032 30032 401 and why that is getting disappeared okay 30032 403 fine now here i will take 30031, 3001234500331 why it is getting replaced? Okay. Next. List. Delete line item using F. Okay. 3003230011. Three also we require. save it let me save it i will come back and do again okay right now two are selected i will add one more as accounts here three double zero three two four zeros three disappeared okay somehow I could manage I do not know why it is getting replaced I have to assign one more one more GL here let me select from here other time another direct income was uh, 300 3-1. Okay. Let me take a, I have to edit it. Because, oh, okay. It got selected. Okay. Fine. Now, other income. Other income, I will uh, assign accounts. I will go from the list rather typing because there is some issue while typing. 
So all my three series are income related. So I have completed uh, revenue from operations that is uh, direct income. Now I am trying to do indirect income. I am just selecting It's okay because it is not uh, allowing me to type, so I am going to. Otherwise, we can type and copy paste also. This I have selected, I will select profit miscellaneous realized till 3 9 okay let me copy and see if it is taken okay see now these are all come into other income now i'll go to expenses cost of materials sold uh, here sold as a GL, you can see all my four series are uh, expenses. Okay, so you should maintain GL category wise. That will say cost of flats sold. I am taking it as a expense. Then if the thing is like see. Right now there is no stock in trade and there is no changes in finished goods. Okay, cost of goods sold I have taken, then consumption entries are there, labor charges are there. Okay, uh, those are all we will take it in work in progress, fine. Okay, let me close this category right now and take purchase of stock in trade is not changes in inventories and finished goods work in progress i will take work in progress as i counts f4 whatever consumption entries are there whatever consumption entries are there that i will capture it here you see all my consumption entries starts with 4 triple zero 4 so all this i am taking as consumption Fine till here 1, 2, 3, 4 till 9 it is there. Let me see everything can be copied. Yeah, till 9. I am selecting what does it mean debit and credit? If uh, suppose if you want to capture debit balances here and debit balances somewhere else, then you can uh, you can select same gl with debit balance on one uh, under one category and credit balance under another category like uh, retained earnings if it is debit balance it is the asset side if it is a credit balance it is in liability side like that if you have any similar kind of uh, uh, gls then accordingly you can opt it up, uh, that particular checkbox accordingly okay now work in progress we have done employee benefits we will take assign account F4. See this I have done offline for balance sheet. I have just showed one account, but now because I have to show you the financial statement version, I am doing it right now. So we have copied up to here. Now uh, bank interest, all this comes uh, uh, in other expenses, uh, brokerage, financial, rent, traveling, miscellaneous, cash discount. We are checking employee benefits uh, employee benefits given okay uh, and also we have to select salaries if salaries is there yeah salaries is there first we will select salaries and employee benefits also we will select see 
say otherwise we can search here okay because i know the name we can search it like so the temporary fits are captured here fine now depreciation we have not created any depreciation uh, uh, gls right now so i am not selecting it now i am going finance cost finance cost may be bank interest or interest on loan all these things okay this again it will be in four series uh, see icd interest expenses bank interest these two loan processing fee other finance charges all these four are there we can select it for finance charges okay now this for now the rest all things are other expenses okay now let me go if there are any unassigned we can check it there is no problem okay bank interest salary benefits is over i will come down uh, now from marketing you see brokerage professional fee except uh, we have to select 99 only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 okay otherwise uh, that screen will not get copied because there are only 9 uh, okay there is one more anyway It will, it may check or sometimes it will give uh, error. Okay, next two nine four six zero five six last digit nine we have done it. From ten we have to do it now. Ten except we had. Uh, okay. what i will do first i will select this then we go to next page okay now i will tag in we have done 10 now from 10 we have to select all the items here there should not be duplication in any other uh, profession tax employee benefits given this we will not do it okay otherwise it will throw error okay now uh, i have to add few more up to 18 is selected Three more entries. See, this is one-time exercise. Then it will be, see, nineteen. Uh, not nineteen is not required. Twenty. Exchange realized loss. Four nine one. Okay. It may not copy three these things. Only two it will copy. Last one is exchange loss. Unrealized exchange loss. Fine. We have completed all income and expense. Let us save it. Okay. Then otherwise we will go for new financial statement version, which I had created earlier. I have saved it. Now let us go over T code. F dot zero one. This is a user user screen. F dot zero one. Chart of accounts. That is okay. Is the chart of account for company code aura. And you see here financial statement version is ZFS two is selected. I am taking for previous year because current year two thousand twenty three there are no entries. Comparative year is two thousand twenty one. See, even in 2021, there are no entries. We have started entries in this company code only with effect from April 2022. So, comparative numbers will be zero. But anyway, that is format. If you see Schedule 
three also this is the performance of previous year okay now i have selected here alv grid control and i am executing it it is showing warning messages parameters you see how nicely the uh, financial statement version has come you see the first one first direct income has come then indirect income consumption employee cost finance cost other expenses fine other expenses then equity share capital capital long term loans trade payables other current liabilities provisions trade receivables okay there are no fixed assets otherwise fixed assets will come here uh, right now we don't have fixed assets so uh, this is a uh, there is nothing that uh, section uh, trade receivables cash and cash equivalents and uh, advances loans and advances short term loans and advances and other current assets okay this is exactly as per the format of the balance sheet fine so i think this will help you for easy preparation of financials on periodical basis whoever is the accounts person will be very easy once the entries are over and this is for the reporting period and this is the for the comparative period as we said this is comparative period there are no entries that is the reason this particular column looks zero for if suppose if we enter 2023 24 and we draw down the trial balance for uh, 2023 24 then this reporting period will come here with numbers then whatever num entries we have done for 23 24 will appear here okay so you can just give you right click and go to spreadsheet and download it hope you got this uh, understanding if you have any queries you can put it in uh, comment section thank you